Hi, this is William Trace for NM. Today we will find a formula for the electrostatic potential of a ring of charge along the axes of symmetry, which will be our z-axis and our uh, charge density will be constant and our reference potential will be zero as we're an infinite distance away. We'll plot it and then we'll show the behavior as we go an infinite distance away. Um, we can start out with our standard equation for electric static potential and then we can plot a diagram of what's kind of going on. We know our point is a distance r away and our circle is a distance r prime away from our origin. Um, so r is equal to z k hat and r prime is a s hat or in Cartesian coordinates a sine theta i hat plus a cosine theta j hat. And then we can find our script r for our equation, well more specifically the magnitude sine squared cosine squared be factored out and we just get a z squared plus a squared because cosine squared plus sine squared is one. Um, dl in this case will be a d theta because it's a change of angle a distance a away um, and then we can integrate from 0 to 2 pi um, it's just linear so we don't have to worry about any z components because that's just some constant point once we integrate we get this to be our function. Uh, plotting this, we can see from negative infinity to infinity that this actually exists at zero. And if you think about it, it's a ring of charge. So we can actually be at this point and be at points down here. Then to get more information out of this, um, we know we can take a Taylor series expansion as he approaches infinity. Um, that's just constant, so you can just kind of leave them out. Uh, we can set x equals to a squared over z squared, which will basically equal zero as z gets really, really large. Um, factor z out, so we can put the x in. Z is basically constant, so we can take that out and save it for later. We take our derivatives, add them all up to higher over terms, depending on how much accuracy we need. And then x equals zero. Looking back at our constants, t is basically just one. So we get this equation, a lambda over z2 epsilon naught. So our electrostatic potential is pretty much just a function of how large the radius of our ring is and how far we are away. Um, you can also think that we have a actual value at our origin of lambda over 2 epsilon um, because we can actually exist when z is equal to zero. Um, this is just an estimate, and this estimate doesn't actually work at zero. Only when we're far, far away.